Injuries are one of the worst parts about sports, and you hate to see a young superstar in the making have his career get completely destroyed by injuries. Now, we've seen this happen time and time again, so when Ronald Acuna Jr. went down with a torn ACL in 2021, we all held our breaths and prayed to every god out there that he wasn't going to be the next one to have this happen to him. But after a pretty decent return last season, Acuna is putting up MVP-type numbers again like he did before he got hurt. So is it safe to say that he's all the way back again? Well, to answer this, first we have to understand what kind of a player Acuna was before he got hurt. Acuna was 2018's number two prospect in baseball according to MLB.com, and he would make his debut that year in only his age 20 season. He played in 111 games, hitting 26 home runs while slashing 293, 366, 552, for a 917 OPS with a 142 WRC plus and his 4.1 F war was on pace for 5.5 over only 150 games, so he was putting up over all-star level production according to War. Acuna would win the Rookie of the Year, then follow this up with 41 home runs, an 883 OPS and 125 WRC plus in 156 games in 2019, and 14 home runs, a 987 OPS and 1 158 WRC plus in 46 games during the shortened 2020 season. So to this point in his career, he'd gotten MVP votes each of his first three seasons, was an all-star in 2019, and a silver slugger in 2019 and 2020. Now offensively, what Acuna did better than almost everyone was hit the ever-loving hell out of baseballs with his hard hit percentage ranking in the 91st, 89th, and 99th percentile from 2018 to 2020, and his barrel percentage ranking in the 93rd, 95th, and 95th percentile. And he doesn't waste this power because he focuses on hitting the ball in the air. I know that's mind blowing, isn't it? He had an above average launch angle of 13.1 in his rookie season, and that's only climbed up to 18.6 in 2020. Now, what we see from a lot of power hitters is that when you swing this hard, you have the tendency to swing and miss quite a bit, and that's obviously gonna lead to more strikeouts, and Acuna was no exception to this rule. But the rest of his approach is pretty good at offsetting this. Despite the fact that he does have this swing and miss tendency, Acuna is actually a fairly patient hitter at the plate, mainly in the fact that he's not chasing a ton. The lowest we've seen his chase rate in terms of percentile ratings was in the 73rd percentile, and that was in his rookie season. It's only gotten better since then, and over his career, he's below average in swing rate, even though he's more than happy to take a good hack at a really hittable first pitch. Since he primarily lives in the strike zone and isn't creating these extra strikes by chasing, he offsets his high strikeouts by getting walked a ton, where we saw him ranked in the 99th percentile in 2020. To start 2021, Acuna was arguably having his best season yet, and as we get into it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to let me know you're enjoying the video so far, and it helps out the channel, so I really appreciate you doing that. In 82 games, he'd already hit 24 home runs, had a slash line of 283, 394, 596, for a 990 OPS with a 157 WRC+, and his 4.4 F-War had him on pace for 8 F-War over 150 games, which is right at MVP level production. His barrel percentage and exit velo both peaked this season in the 99th and 98th percentile respectively, with his hard hit percentage also up in the 97th percentile, so that was all right. And I don't think it's a coincidence that this was also when we saw him at his most patient, where his chase percentage was in the 90th percentile, also a career high, and his walk percentage was also up in the 94th percentile. Acuna had made the all-star team again and was putting up MVP type numbers, but unfortunately, this is when his season would get cut short on July 10th, when he tore his ACL trying to field a fly ball from Jazz Chisholm near the warning track. Now Acuna would actually recover from this injury fairly quickly and return last season on April 28th, less than 10 months after he tore his ACL. But while he was able to get back on the field, it was pretty clear that he wasn't quite back to being the same player. In 119 games, he hit 15 home runs, slash 266, 351, 413, for a 764 OPS and 114 WRC+, both career lows, and his 2.1 F-War 
was on pace for only 2.6 over 150 games. That's a little above your everyday starter kind of production. This was noticeably his worst offensive season, and it was clear that he either wasn't 100% healthy or he couldn't trust the fact that he could play like he did before. For anybody that's had an injury like this, I tore up my knee in college. Sometimes it's not getting physically 100% back, but it's getting over that mental hurdle that you can trust the fact that you can play like you used to and you're not gonna get hurt again. This season, his barrel percentage was below the 90th percentile for the first time in his career, and his exit velo and hard hit percentage were the lowest that they'd been since his first full season in the majors in 2019. Now, I think it's a fair assumption to say that a good part of why we saw the power dip like this was that he either physically couldn't or didn't trust his body to generate the same kind of bat speed as before. And when you have a little bit slower swing, that means you have to make your decision on a pitch that much sooner, which means you're more likely to get fooled. And I believe this is why along with seeing the power take a noticeable step back, we also saw some regression in the parts of his approach that made him such a dangerous hitter. His chase percentage in 2022 was the worst of his career, and he was swinging not only more than ever, but swinging at more first pitches too. With a slower bat speed giving him less time to recognize pitches and having to hit tougher pitches than because of this, he struggled to get the same kind of quality contact in the air, and we saw the launch angle, ground ball percentage, and fly ball percentage all go below average for the first time in his career. But after having a full off season, not only to rest up, but to make adjustments, he started 2023 by turning into the same old menace that we know and love. In 35 games, he's hit six home runs, slash 338, 431, 551 for a 983 OPS with a 165 WRC plus and his 1.9 F war is on pace for 8.1 over 150 games. So again, putting up MVP type production. And the first great sign that we've seen that he's bounced back this season is that the power is coming back. He's currently in the 97th percentile in exit velo and the 94th percentile in hard hit percentage. So with his swing getting back to where it was, once again, he's not chasing, he's taking his walks, but now on top of this, his whiff percentage is above average for the first time in his career, along with the strikeout percentage, which is currently up in the 88th percentile. So all around, it's not only looking like he's back, but he might almost be better than ever. Almost. Now what hasn't bounced back is that his launch angle is still at 5.5 degrees, which is almost half of his career low from 2022. And he's hitting more ground balls, less fly balls, and swinging at more first pitches than ever in his career. So now maybe some of this is him just being a little over aggressive early in the season. Maybe he's just kind of feeling himself right now, so he's going after whatever. Or maybe it's the fact that this is 35 games and it's still a pretty small sample size. But my gut feeling tells me he's going to get the ball back in the air again. And when he's hitting the ball this hard like he used to, he's just going to be launching baseballs left and right. But I'm curious your thoughts, what you think about all of this, and any predictions you have for Acuna's season. Look, it's just great to see Acuna get back to the player that he was before getting hurt. Like we said, injuries are like the worst part about sports. You hate seeing a guy's career get ruined by injuries so i'm just glad that in acuna's case it doesn't seem like it happened this time but now another player that we're seeing bounce back this season after dealing with some injuries the last couple of years is cody bellinger who's also putting up mvp type numbers again bellinger was a rookie of the year in mvp and got non-tendered all before his age 27 season because we saw injuries make his numbers take a complete nosedive over the last couple of seasons. Now, while Bellinger's numbers are back towards what we saw from him at his peak, unlike Acuna here, when you look a little bit deeper, there's still some cause for concern with Bellinger. So to find out more about what's going on with him, check out this video right here. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, not only to see more baseball content like this, but it helps the channel grow, and I can't thank you enough for that. As always, thank you so much for watching, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.